Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today, thanks so much for talking by, spending a little time with this old guy today. Uh, today's beer may look familiar, uh, this is Bearded Irish Brewing's Double Dry Hopped Apple Clapper. Guys, I reviewed this back in February uh, and I told you on that video, uh, it was, was out there when I went to the beer store again and it was fresh, I was going to pick it up. And that's what I did. Uh, I enjoyed this. It did get into the A scale last time, barely, uh, but it, it did get an A minus, I think. Uh, this is an eight and a half percent. These guys are out of Tennessee. No uh, IBUs are given, and it does have a very microscopic date right here on the corner of the rim. And you almost got to have a magnifying glass to see that it's so small, but it says 082321. So, uh, still fairly fresh, uh, and I enjoyed it last time. It was a, it was a very hazy, uh, I think it was a New England style, uh, if I remember correctly, but uh, the pictures here on Untap, it looks very, very cloudy, so, uh, but I can't recall. I mean, it, I'm pretty sure it was. So, with that being said, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. We got the ABV. And plain Jane Silver 16 ounce can with a stick on label. Now we're going to see what this edition brings and see if it's pretty much the same. It's hazy coming out of the can, but it's not orange juice haze. Alright, guys, we got about a finger and a half of head on that pour. It is close. I mean, it is super close. I can say this is not orange juice color, and I can see a little bit of like the thin part. So I would say it's not claiming to be a New England style on the can, but Untapped is calling it a New England style, and Beer Advocate is calling it a New England style. So. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Now, I don't see any of them claiming it on the package here, so uh, it looks close. I mean, uh, but not quite to the really consistent orange juice, cloudy top to bottom, if you would. But still good looking to me. Mm hmm. Here the nose we go. Citrusy, grapefruit, oranges. Maybe a hint of some tropical fruit notes. Smells very, very pleasant, guys. I mean, got a very, very nice hot presence on the nose. Let's dive in. Cheers. Grapefruit, oranges. Maybe a hint of some pineapple, mango, very pleasant. Just as tasty as the last time I remember it being. And like I said then, I probably should have bought more of this while I was out there instead of just buying one can, but who knows. May still be there when I go back out there, I don't know. Anyway, guys, it's right out of the fridge. Let's go sip on it. Very tasty beer. Yeah, beer. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on in a while. Very nice placing. 
tasty beer guys I mean just as I remember it uh, uh, not quite to the New England style as far as I'm concerned but very hazy uh, a nice looking beer and I may buy it again I wish, like I said I wish I'd have bought more of this while I had the chance uh, probably could have picked up some but if I want to pick up something uh, give me something that's going to be outstanding or, or world class so final chug But seriously, I would buy this beer again, guys. Uh, it is a very tasty beer. Uh, again, A- minus for me on this one. I'm going to go with a... Uh, I'm going to go with a 93. I mean, it's got the ABV on it. It's got the candle on it. If you can read microscopic printing, I almost had to... And I had to look at two or three of them to find one that I could actually read on that. So... Uh, uh, it's what it is there guys. So the over to Beer Advocate, they say 91 in the outstanding range and well, I agree with that. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.09 again in the A minus range again. So pretty unanimous there. It's worth picking up guys. It's into the A category for sure. So uh, if you can get your hands on this beer from Beer Irish Brewing, their ever clever double dry hop version. Coming in at an eight and a half percent. Direct response, big guys. Can we meet again? Let's go see what's in the fridge.